Hello, and welcome to Joomla J Events Tutorial Part 4 from Trinity Web Hosting. In this tutorial, we are going to look at creating repeating events. In order to do this, you need to have already added a calendar that looks like this one on your website. If you do not have one, or do not know how to add one, pause this tutorial and go back to the first tutorial, which explains that process. You also need to know how to, to have created several categories in which to place the event. If you have not done this and do not know how, please pause this video and first watch our second tutorial, which deals with that portion of the process. Thirdly, if you do not yet know how to create events, it may be helpful if you watch our third tutorial before this one, as we will spend speed through many of the steps that it covers and focus primarily on those involved with the steps required for repeating events. Now to start off, you need to go to Manage Events and hit New. Once inside, you type in the event name and a description but this time, instead of selecting a default category, go ahead and select the category that pertains to a specific type of event. To start, we will do weekly events. Once that is done, you click the calendar tab and enter in the date and time just as before for it, using either 24 hour time or checking the 12 hour time and using that. Once you have done this, click on the weekly circle under the repeat type. You will see this creates a new section to appear with specifics about the numbers of events you wish to create. First, you must choose to either create a certain number of events or to specify an end date. If you do a specific number of repeats, the event will automatically end when the number is completed. So this time, we will do 10 repeats. Now you also need to specify which day or days of the week the event occurs. For instance, if it occurs on Tuesdays, select Tuesdays. Now once you have done all of this, hit save and go to the website. You will see that for the next 10 Tuesdays, the event appears in blue, which is our color for weekly events, and that if you select any one of them, the description of the event appears. Now let's return to the administration page and create a monthly event. The initial procedure is the same, except this time choose the monthly category. Once you have selected the monthly circle, you will see once again the a new set of parameters appear. This time we will select the end date option. Let's go with the fourth Saturday in May 2011. Now you will notice that there are two options for monthly events. You can either make them on numerical dates or specific dates in specific weeks of each month. Note that you can have a monthly event that occurs more than once a month. However, Unless event occurs every week, it is better to do a monthly event. Let's say that this event occurs on the second Saturday of every month. We can show this by using the parameters on the right. The other parameters focus only on dates and are more useful if an event occurs on a certain date every month. Once you have selected the first Saturday, or the second Saturday rather, of every month, hit save and go to your website. You should see an event appear on the second Saturday of every month. Now to create a yearly event. To do this, you would follow the same process as we did for the, both the weekly and the monthly, but instead use the yearly selection <coughs> and select the day of the year 
from 1 to 365 that he wants the event to occur. That's all for now. Thanks for joining us, and please watch our last tutorial on editing J-Events.